Yo, what's going on everybody? So the deep Pokemon update just dropped. We got big changes. A lot of people don't realize yet, but these luck changes are completely going to change the game. PVP is no longer necessary. Thank God. So basically, as you see right here, it says base luck is now 25% and max luck is now 45%. So I don't know really what that means. I don't know if 25% literally means 25% chance to get a rare. I've never even really thought about that, but if it does, good change. But basically, this is the most important thing. Luck rewards have now been added to a lot of the stronger enemies in the game. And the thing that's crazy about this is the game considered sharkos angels golems threshers and i'm assuming a lot more is strong enemies so you gain luck from killing sharko that means you could literally go to orissa and farm sharko so that's pretty crazy card freezing i'll show it on screen pretty simple you just freeze a card it'll pop up again burns and freezes share the same points so if you have two burns you have two freezes but if you freeze, then you only have one burn. Engage, Thresher Scales, Aerial Assault, and Critical Attack are now priority talents. Just means they'll pop up more. And Enforcer Axe, you need Critical. I'll put it on screen. I played around with it a little bit. I think it's kind of bad. Flame Leap Reversal Spark Rework. It's pretty cool. I'll throw it on screen. It has its uses. New talent under the radar. This might screw Void Walkers heavy. I don't know the requirements for it, but talent on screen. And then placebo effect. I have no idea what that does. A lot of this is just quality of life. I'll show the new loot. So icons will be shown and colors got changed. So you're not going to be seeing a gold providence coat anymore, most likely. I don't know what deep gem color looks like or a legendary weapon color is. I'm assuming it's mythic tier. So like a blue. They added a pink indicator. Pretty cool. I'll show that on screen too. And then this for PVP. Stun for being parried is now decreased across the board. Parry stun length is now based on your weapon class. So I have no idea how this is going to affect things. I'm going to have to play around and let you guys know. Uh, some simple little mon mantra changes. Buffs. This is also pretty cool. Ferryman health slightly lowered. So he's going to be faster to do. But he also receives more damage if he hasn't damaged you for a while. So that's a pretty cool system. It will make killing him way faster. Just the car got nerfed to 35 physical resistance. But now it gives ether regen. Delph got buffed on Pale Assassin stuff. Oh. Also to mention with the luck thing, bosses give you max luck instantly if you kill them. Yeah, just some bug fixes, but yeah, pretty good update. I'm not going to be clawing my eyes out because I have to play PvP to progress. So yeah, this is a pretty good update, pretty good band-aid fix to layer two. Yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.